Team India, of course, uh, ending their T20 World Cup campaign on a high and yet another superstar of Indian cricket has decided to now bow down on a high. Ravindra Jadeja has announced his retirement from T20 internationals. After Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma, it's now Jadeja who's decided to hang his boots. Jadeja has bid farewell to T20 internationals. In his final post, announcing his retirement, Jadeja has said that he's always given his best for the country. My colleague uh, Gaurav Gupta joins us on the broadcast to get us more details on this. Gaurav, rockstar Jadeja, as Shane Warne called him, 2008 IPL, it was incredible for Jadeja. 2009, he made his T20 international debut. Ever since then, he's been a prolific all-rounder for India. Not really had the best of the T20 World Cup this year, but still his contribution has been immense to India's T20 and the short-form game as well. Help us understand how much of a void Jadeja is going to leave because this is someone that was an all-format player for India, a very rare asset that Team India did, of course, use the services of. Absolutely, you know, a wonderful uh, player, a wonderful servant of Indian cricket. Uh, you know, our best fielder by by by, by far, uh, perhaps the best fielder in world cricket by far. Uh, Jadeja has absolutely been an outstanding cricketer. Uh, although I've, I've, I'm slightly unhappy with his contribution in this World Cup, I think he, with this the kind of talent that he has, he could have contributed far more, um, uh, you know, far bit more. Uh, but somehow his bowling lacked the sting that it had, uh, you know, uh, in this in this World Cup. Uh, and and over the years also, you know, Jadeja, uh, I thought uh, could have been pivotal to India winning a World Cup uh, considering he's a brilliant fielder uh, you know wonderful bowler uh, and, and, and and also pretty, pretty more than a useful batsman you know uh, he's a champion player but uh, somehow despite him being a gun player uh, you know this is the uh, this, this was the absolutely the, the anomaly about this generation of cricketers that we had the wonderful you know all time great cricketers that we have white ball cricketers you know Rohit Sharma Virat Kohli of course are all format great cricketers uh, Ramadha Jadeja is a terrific white ball cricketer and also great red ball cricketer uh, you know that, that, that with, uh, with, with guys like these being there you know the greats like these being there uh, you know when they retire they would be referred to as greats uh, we still did not have a T20 World Cup victory uh, so that was pretty surprising uh, for, for a long long time you know and even a 50 overs victory uh, after 2011 uh, and I thought with the talent that Jadeja had uh, I was a bit surprised that you know he could not uh, sort of uh, uh, you know champion us to a T20 World Cup victory in all these years uh, and, and in this World Cup I thought his performance were, had gone graph had gone down you know by his, by his tall lofty standards uh, in fact uh, I had even began to question in my mind whether his selection was justified or not, and was was it purely on? It was mostly purely on uh, on you know on reputation. Uh, considering that several youngsters rocking the doors, I think there's a time for a change in Indian cricket, a time for transition in Indian cricket. And Jade, uh, guys like Jadeja, uh, Rohit, and Virat they recognize this that you know uh, it is time for the T20 uh, team to have to have to bear a new look. You know for the new Jadeja, the new Rohits, and the new uh, Virats to come in. Uh, and I expect a lot of claimants for Jadeja's position as well. You know, uh, but then it will be difficult to fill his shoes because you know here was a guy who was uh, equally good with his batting and bowling uh, and, and and fielding you know let's not forget his tremendous fielding I mean uh, the, the, the only good part about uh, the, you know Jadeja leaving the scene is that is that uh, Ramindra Jadeja has come uh, is that uh, Akshar Patel has come along very well you know uh, his, his you know fellow Gujarati uh, so I mean uh, Akshar was was absolutely outstanding in this tournament as we saw yesterday he scored a super 47 but then this is Jadeja's hour of glory and I mean Jadeja's uh, you know hour of uh, you know we, we we should remember him for being a terrific T20 player. Uh, I remember in several big T20 games, uh, he he pulled off uh, some uh, you know fabulous runouts for India. Uh, I think it was in Australia in 2012. We beat at that time beating Australia in a T20 match on that tour seemed pretty difficult. We did that, and we did that largely because of the way Jadeja batted and his fielding, you know. And several such games Jadeja has won, and I hope that helps uh, helps Jadeja focus on the other two formats, the 50 overs game and the Test cricket, you know, and especially Test cricket in India. I think that is where he's a, is an absolutely a, you know an asset, a massive asset for us. And 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 this leaves uh, all three of them: Jadeja, Rohit, and Virat with with, with two three good years of cricket, you know. Uh, and perhaps all three of them uh, have have told the BCCI and the communication is pretty clear. I would I would imagine that all three are going to be an integral part of India's 2027 of 50 overs World Cup team. After which they're going to quit white ball cricket, you know. Uh, obviously their form is going to be assessed, but I think they are the champion performers. And uh, more than form, it's about uh, you know the class that they bring to the table. And, and Jadeja was one such player, you know, absolutely outstanding uh, player in T20s. And, uh, you know, let's hope that he uh, sort of, uh, you know, continues to, uh, you know, entertain us in the in the IPL and in the other two formats in the ODIs and, and tests for India. 
Absolutely, Gaurav. Like you rightly pointed out, uh, Jadeja has been an amazing servant of Indian cricket, an amazing batsman, a game-changing bowler and a prolific fielder who's really set the standards for Indian fielding for a long time now. Of course, uh, Aksar Patel, uh, a very, very good replacement uh, that we saw, performed better than Jadeja in this World Cup. And now this seems to be a really nice trend as far as uh, Indian cricketers are concerned, bowing down on a high after Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma. It's now Ravindra Jadeja who's decided to make way for youngsters. Lots of youngsters knocking on the doors through the IPL. And now Jadeja, the senior pro, has decided to make way for them. In fact, if you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.